Representative realism, also known as indirect realism, is a realist theory. It claims that there are objects which exist independently of the mind, and they have some properties which are not dependent of the mind. It claims we perceive objects of the world only indirectly. It is a three-component model of perception, perceivers, objects, and sense data. We directly experience sense data, which represents the objects to us in our experience. Sense data are the experiences we are directly aware of, which have been caused by objects in the real world. Sense data is private, immaterial, and dependent of the, on the mind for existence. Representative realism makes the distinction between primary and secondary qualities. Primary equals those objects, those objects ha that have, regardless of whether they are being perceived. For example, size, shape, number, and motion. Secondary are those that come about when the object is being experienced. For example, colour, hotness, smell, sound and taste. The experience of secondary qualities are caused by the primary qualities. This distinction is supported by science, which describes the physical world only in terms of the measurable properties described by physics. For example, smells are caused by molecules which aren't themselves smelly, being of a particular shape. The molecule lodges in the nose and causes an electrical signal to be sent to the brain, which then creates the experience of smell. The distinction between primary and secondary qualities is also supported by the fact that some properties seem essential to an object and others seem inessential. Representative realism solves the problems raised against direct realism as it can account for differences between appearance and realities such as illusions, hallucinations and the relativity of perception. Illusions occur when sense data does not accurately represent the objects in the world that are the cause of the sense data. So the sense data represents the stick in water as bent. When the, when the real stick causing the sense data is straight. Hallucinations occur when you have sense data caused by the mind, but there is no external object relating to the sense data. People might see objects as having different colour or different smell or different degrees of hotness because of colour, smell and feeling of hotness are secondary qualities created by our mind, not something by the object itself. Problems of representative realism. It creates a division between the real world and the world of experience, sense data. Our experiences are only, give, only give us knowledge of the real world to the degree that it accurately represents it to us. The problem with this is that there is no way we can ever know how accurately it does represent the world as we can never get outside of our experience to independently compare it to the real world. We are stuck behind the veil of perception. This can be illustrated with a cinema analogy. Imagine being trapped in a cinema from birth, never being able to go outside to compare what you are seeing on the cinema screen with the real world. You will never know how, accurate, how accurately what you see on the screen represents the real world. The cinema screen is like the world of experience in our minds, our sense data. Reply. One way to respond to this problem is to claim that our sense data must be an accurate representation of the world as the humans would have survived otherwise. The fact that, that we, we can leave that in the world. <laughs> 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 the fact that we can leave that in the world. It's your face that really <laughs> <laughs> means, shows that our experience must match the real world. Conclusion. Representative realism solves the problems associated with direct realism by introducing a third component in perception, sense data. The differences between appearance and reality are accounted for by our sense data. As I said, not always accurately representing the world to us. However, while representative realism nicely accounts for the problems of direct realism, it raises serious problems of its own. In particular, the veil of perception problem suggests that we cannot know anything about the external world, or even if there is one. It also leads to solipsism. The end.